Hello, uh, today I'm going to solve a number 65, valid number. Let me read the problem. Validate if a given string can be interpreted as a decimal number. Let's see the examples. 0, true, 0 0.1, true. A, B, C, false. 1 space A, false. 2 echo 10, true. Minus 9, 0 echo 3, true. 1 echo, false. Echo 3, false. 6 echo minus 1 true 99 echo 2.5 false 53 dot 5 echo 93 true minus minus 6 false minus plus 3 false 95 a 54 echo 53 false note that it is intended for the problem statement to be ambiguous you should gather all requirements up front before implementing one. However, here is a list of characters that can be in a valid decimal number. Numbers 0 to 9, exponent and positive or negative sign, plus or minus, and decimal point, dot. Of course, the context of these characters also matters, matters in the input. Actually, with these examples, it's not easy to come up with clear idea how to implement this algorithm to solve this problem. Let's see the examples more closely. I read colored false cases. Why should you focus on false cases? Because it's more clear to implement focusing on false cases. During the iteration, we need to check if false cases exist in number string. If one of them exists, we can return false. That's the main concept to implement the algorithm. For example, during the iteration of number string, if we encounter any character of alphabet except E representing exponent, we should return false. Let's see another example. If we encounter the echo, we should check left and right side characters, which should be digit number in both sides. And the next example, we could see that that character is behind the echo. That's not possible in valid digit number. So during the iteration of number string, we can check all these false conditions up to the last character of number string. False case does not exist during the iteration, we could return true because it's a valid number string. Okay, let's see the code. I implemented a pretty long solution, but as I already explained, algorithm design is very simple. Let's just see the code step by step. For loop is for the iteration of a number string, and the first condition is checking digit character. At least one digit character should exist, so this flag is checking the first occurrence of digit character, and the sign character should not exist after the digit character. For example, 3 plus 3 is not a valid number in this problem. And the next, if a statement is checking the exponent character, if this didn't occur, we should return false. Or E character occurred twice, we should return false. E index stores the first index of exponent. And if a number string start with E, or end with E is not a valid number. And only digit and that character are allowed in left of exponent. And also only digit and sign character are allowed in right side of exponent. In other cases, we should return false. And then it is checking the dot character. That character cannot be later than exponent or cannot exist twice itself. In that case, we should return false. And the sign character cannot exist right after the dot character. And this part is checking the sign character. Sign character cannot occur consecutively. And space also cannot be followed. And this statement is checking any alphabet character except the exponent. And this statement is checking the space character. That character cannot be followed. And this condition is a tricky part. We have to check characters surrounding space. As you can see in right side, this condition is checking digit numbers separated by space or dot characters with space. With all these false conditions, iteration is completed without exception case. We should return true using digit occurred flag, which means the digit number should exist at once. I think that my code 
performs uh, on time complexity. Runtime is 0 millisecond even though pretty long conditions are used. But these conditions are chaining using else if statement which could skip unnecessary condition check. Actually, it's not easy to come up with all these conditions with just these examples. As you can see in the problem, the success rate is very low. That's because you have to experience so many try and error to complete your code. Because we don't know the valid number format clearly with the examples given in this problem. So you can try your own solution, fixing the exception cases, trying your code in liquid.com. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.